Hi, it's Janie. Um, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and taking the time to tune in. And um, today I have a video, or my video today is going to be some products that I would like to work on and to use up over the next couple months. And I thought maybe if I put it on a video and put it out there for everyone to see and to maybe hold me accountable for it, that I would be more prone to actually use up these items and it's not that they're bad items it's just that I've had them for a while and I don't want them to go to waste by just sitting and ruining so I really need to to use them and, and like I said they're not bad products it's just I have so many other products that I use and I just need to make sure that I'm concentrating on these but first thing I want to show you is this cute little makeup bag right here that my son's girlfriend made for me. Um, he came down this past weekend and brought this to me that she made. She's wonderful at sewing and doing crafts. And the inside has got this cute, this is actually like a lavender color. I think it may be showing up blue on the camera or periwinkle, but it's, it's lavender and the polka dots. And then of course all these purples and pinks are just right up my alley. I love these colors and I love this. So thank you Danielle very much for making this for me. I will definitely use this in my travels. And actually I use this today to carry my products here to um, be able to make a video to show you the items that I want to concentrate over the next couple months of using up. So let's get started. The first one I pulled up is my Philosophies Help Me. And you can see my tube here. I mean, it's pretty squished, and I have used it, but I need to be more diligent about using this um, just so that it doesn't go bad because this is, you know, a little pricey. Um, any product, you know, I don't care if it's $2, $20, $50, you know, it's your money, your hard earned money, and, you know, you don't want to waste it by getting a product that, you're, that you don't use. Um, this is supposed to be have um, retinol in it, and um, it's a retinol night treatment, and it just takes a little dab. I think that's probably why it's taking me so long to use it, because it just takes, whoops, like a little pea size amount. That's probably way too much right there. Let's see. Yeah, about like this much. And that will do your whole face. And I do like this. I do feel like I get good results with it. It's just that... You know, I'm like everybody else. I see something that I think is newer, better, greater, so I get it, I use it, and then I put other products that I've been using to the back burner, so to speak, and I just need to concentrate on using this so that it doesn't go bad and I waste my money. So that's one thing. The other one is this Hard Candy Sheer Envy Primer right here. And I don't really like this, and I'm afraid it's going to take me like a really long time to use up. But it, it, to me, it's too silicone. I don't like a, a primer that's silicone-y, and this to me feels like that. Um, plus, whenever I use it, if I don't shake it up, I don't know if I can do it or not, but anyway, if I don't shake it up really good, and kind of squish it around then the only thing that comes out is the oil part of it so I have to make sure I do that but um, again this is going to be a product that's going to take a while to use up because it just takes a little bit to do my whole face not a whole lot at all and it is you know it does go on really really smooth um, does it work I don't feel like it does I feel like my makeup breaks down probably more so using this than it does if I don't use anything at all but anyway I bought it I think it was around five or six dollars at Walmart from Hard Candy so I am going to be using it plus I've, I've decided that I need to use this one and I have another primer that I need to use up and then once these two are, are used up I'm going to give myself permission to buy a new primer and there's one um, that I am eyeing that I want to try anyway the other one item is the CeraVe AM Facial Moisturizing Lotion, and this one has an SPF of 30 in it, and hyaluronic acid, 
um, cermicides and something else that I can't pronounce. But um, I'm, real, I'm really bad about not doing this last step that has the SPF in it. And I need to get better at that. Um, even though it's going to be winter, it doesn't matter. You have to have an SPF every single day. And um, if you ever watch Melissa on from 30 plus some, yes, she definitely preaches SPF, SPF, which is it's just good because um, to be honest with you, um, sun damage, sun is probably the leading cause of aging your inner your environment so yes definitely use um, sunscreen so that's one of them and I'm, I'm probably to about here on it already maybe maybe more than that but anyway that's another item I want to work on finishing up this is one here and this is the Paracone MD Nero Nero peptide Neclate it's a, a um, aging, anti-aging treatment for your chest, all up down in here and up around your neck. And I have had this for a while, and um, I don't know if it's really good or not because it looks like to me it's turned colors. It's kind of a yellow color now, whereas before it wasn't. But I'm going to use it, but if I notice any kind of irritation or breakouts, then um, I will not finish it but I will let you know on that but so far the last couple days I've used it and I haven't had any kind of irritation but um and it's it's about right to there this came from QVC it was in a today's special value kit everything else in the kit I liked except I didn't really I don't know it's not that I just I don't like it I'm just lazy and to me this is just an extra step to put down here but I know you're supposed to take care of this part down here Anyway, um, my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, the professional size. I've been using this for a very long time, a really long time, and I'm kind of like Kristen Game. I know she had one that she was going to be using up, and she decided it was just, had gone bad. Mine is kind of, I think, along the same lines as what hers was doing. It's starting to get a little bit watery, like the product is breaking down. But I find that before I use it, if I kind of squish this around a little bit to remix it, that it, it's better than if I don't do it. But I just feel like it's lost its oomph. Like it's not really holding the eyeshadow as good as it used to. But I did, I did find that if I mix it around, it works better. So I'll have to make sure I remember to mix it before I put it on. But that's another one. My Miracle Worker um, Anti-Aging Retinal Pads. I need to use these up. You're supposed to use these up within 30 days of opening them. Because when you get it, you get the pads and then you get the little um, serum or the juice that you put on the pads and you pour it on there and then that way you mix it up fresh and then you're supposed to use it within 30 days. Well, I know it's been longer than 30 days. And I still have quite a few to do. There is 60 pads in here. Yeah. I, I'm definitely way past the time because they're, they're kind of getting dried out. I don't like these because they're, they're a little bit oily and I don't like an oily feel on my skin. So once these are used up and I've, I've done these, I won't repurchase these. I think these were in a kit is the reason why I have them. But anyway, that won't be a repurchase, but I do want to use them, I don't want to waste them. The other thing I have is my little EOS lip balm right here. This I've got at Walgreens and it was in a package of three. It was the Disney the Disney collection. So I have three. I have a blue one, a cream colored one, and then this pink one. So I decided I want to concentrate on the pink one, on using it up. And I did mark it. It's kind of wearing off, but I did start using this March 1st is when I started using it. <laughs> and I still have a long ways to go. Long ways. But 
I'll do really good for a couple weeks. I'll use it and then I'll just set it up there on my little makeup cabinet and it just sits there and stares me in the face. I know I should be using it and it feels good on my lips. I don't know why I don't use it. Just lazy. But so I need to get back in the habit of using this before I um, put my um, lipstick and stuff on because it really does make it feel really good. So that's another one. The other item I have is my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye in medium. And I have had this for a while. As you can see, the packaging is things rubbing off. Um, so again, you know, it doesn't seem to be breaking down or changing color or have an odor or anything of that nature, but I don't want it to get that way, so I want to pull it back out and continue to use it. Um, I do have it on today. This also makes a really good um, base that you can put all over your face underneath your, um, your foundation too if you want, if you need a little extra concealing. And this works really good for that. But anyway, this came from QVC. Um, again, it was in a kit and came with a brush and it's just another thing that I, I feel like I need to, to use up. Um, if I do like the formulation, but I feel like the color is not right for me. I should have got a little bit lighter color, but anyway. That's in my basket to be used up. Another item is the Peter Thomas Roth Lashes to Die For in the Platinum. It's a treatment that you put on your eyelash line to help your eyelashes. Again, it's a product that I like and I feel like I was getting results with it. It's just, again, it's just an extra step, just not taking the time to do it and um, kind of put it on the back burner back in the back of the drawer, forget about it. But I did pull it out because I do want to use it um, to make sure that I don't waste my money. Because this was not this was not cheap at all. I don't remember. It was around $40, $50 for this. So yeah, I definitely want to use that. And then the other item I have is my Trish McAvoy Beauty Booster Eye Serum. And this I bought in January when I was in Vegas and I don't really think that you need an eye serum and an eye moisturizer so to me this is was a waste of money this is one of those products that I wished I wouldn't have bought but I did and I need to use it it's going to take a long time to use it because it just takes a little drop I don't know if you can see it's really watery too it just takes a really small drop on that. So that's another item to use. And then the last item that I have is my Laura Geller Take Cover Anti-Aging Foundation in SPF 20. And I have already used up quite a bit and I'm here. And I want to finish up this and my um, Bourjois, Bourjois Foundation. But this one is going to be first and then I'll switch over to my Bourjois. Um, after that, then I want to try a new foundation, but I want to use those two up before I purchase a new one. Anyway, those are my items that I am going to discipline myself and to use, not because they're bad items, um, it's just because I don't want them to go bad and they need to be used, used up. Anyway, that's all I have for today. Thank you very much for watching. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. It's free, and I would very much appreciate it. Um, again, thank you for watching my video. I do appreciate it. I know everyone has a lot of things to do throughout the day, and for you to take the time out to watch one of my videos is very much appreciative. Anyway, talk to you later. Bye.